In this experiment, we're using a circular platform with angle markings, a triangular prism with concave, convex, and flat sides, and a half circular lens. We'll also use a light source that can project either one, three, or five parallel light beams. If we project a light beam at the flat side of the triangular mirror, we can study the angles of incidence and reflection. We can determine the radius of curvature of the concave and convex sides of the mirror by projecting parallel light beams and looking at where the beams converge. Parallel light beams aimed at a concave or convex surface will converge at the focal point of that surface, which is half of the radius of curvature. We provide a ruler here so that the scale in the video can be easily seen. The convergence of light beams can sometimes be seen more easily if we project the beams off to the side. Now we'll study a half circular lens. We project a beam at the flat side of the half circular lens. The beam hits the flat side at an angle but when it exits the curved side, it's always perpendicular to the surface, so it's only refracted once. This makes it easy to study the incident and refracted angles. If we turn the half circular lens around, the light beam will now be refracted when it moves from the glass into the air. Because the index of refraction decreases, when we reach a certain angle, the light beam will be entirely reflected within the glass. This incident angle is called the critical angle. 